Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I will show you how to run PHP files in VS Code and by the end of this video, we will be able to run PHP files in VS Code and we will be able to see them in the browser. So let's get started. First, let's create a new project and let's call it my PHP project. So whatever we create, whatever files we create it will be inside this folder. So for now, let's just leave it empty and let's open VS Code here. And let's open our project folder, which is empty right now. Trust the authors. And as you can see, the project is empty right now. So first we will install the required things and then we will create a PHP file and see how we can run it. So first of all, click on this extensions here. You can press the shortcut Control, Shift and X. And now you will see a list of extensions here. First type PHP and then it will search for a list of extensions in the marketplace and here click on this this third one it might be not exactly third in your case so it is php intellifence so click on this and for this we need to disable the existing php extension so to do, to do that you can scroll down and as you can see here they have shown what to search for so copy this and in this extensions paste it and you will see this built-in language features so you need to click on this language features and disable it and no, no need to do anything with php language basics you can keep it as it is and now again search for php now select php intelligence and install it now to directly run php files and view them in the browser you need to install php server so search for php server in extensions and now this first one you can click on install. Now both of these are installed. Now we can create a PHP file and run it from our VS code. So let's call it index.php. Here, let's just create a small PHP script that will say hello world. That's all. Right? Now to run this, what you need to do is just right click here. And you can see a lot of options from PHP server. So you can just click on serve project. So as you can see here, we have this error PHP not found. So how do we fix this error? To fix this error, first of all, you need to have XAMPP installed. Now, if you don't have XAMPP installed, I'll leave a link in the comment section or in the description and you can see how to install XAMPP. And after that, go to your explorer, go to C, go to XAMPP and go to php now this path you need to copy this path so click on your address bar and copy it now go down and in your taskbar on the start icon right click and click on where is it settings now again you need to go down and click on about here click on this advanced system settings Click on environment variables and in the system variables click on path and click on new and variable name is php and variable value will be okay exit it click on path not new you need to click on edit apologies for the mistake there click on edit and click on new and paste this thing here Hit OK, OK, and now close this, close this, close this, and now let's right click and click on Serve Project again. This is showing us PHP not found. We need to restart our Visual Studio, so I'll just close it and I'll start Visual Studio again. Let's right click and let's click PHP Serve Project again. And this time, as you can see, hello world is printed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.